Hello, Veteran0121 here. Welcome back, and we are let's playing Final Fantasy IX. The finale! This, it's, it's actually the finale this time. It's not... I, I know I kind of probably faked you out in the last episode when I said it was going to be the finale, but no, this is actually the finale. And of course, to break continuity, um, Beatrix was, was in our party for the final battle there, but, you know, whatever. Yes, sir, ma'am, sir. <laughs> wow. Those Pluto Knights are pretty stupid. So we're, uh, we're gonna get a lot of good FMV action for this ending here, which is nice. Hey, what's up, Sid? Really? Farewell Zidane. Who's talking to us now? Is it Garland again? Uh, yeah, what are you... what? Who's still alive? Oh... You mean Kuja? Just leave him here. I mean, he tried to kill us. He's gonna die anyways. Yeah, very dangerous. Listen to Kina. Kina's actually right for a change. Well, actually, no. She's she's just she's actually right quite a lot. She's just not very articulate. Neither am I, but I'm definitely more articulate than Kina. <laughs> yeah, Amaranth quoted him right there. <laughs> yeah. 
Let's just leave him here. Screw it. Zidane, I love you. You better come back. Wow, she's professing her love to him. <laughs> Hina must eat different food. I'm still hungry. You need to come back, take me more places, and show me more food. Of course. Of course, Kina. More food. See, Kina, I love Kina, because she reminds me of the Cookie Monster from Sesame Street. <laughs> she really does. I think that's why I'm so fond of her. Or he. I don't know. Kina, I don't know. People say that Kina is a he, she, uh, like they're not even sure sometimes. Like that's what they say in the dialogue. He slash she or whatever. But I kind of want to say that Kina is a she, but I don't know. Kina can be whatever gender you want Kina to be. Abduction? You're still talking about that shit? Wow. Well, not really. I mean, you would have been a queen, and then you would have ruled over Alexandria, and I don't know. And then your kingdom got blown up, so you couldn't be queen anymore. But we did find out your real name. So we're going to chase after Kuja. Yeah, well, none of the audience understands Zidane right now. So what, you're going to find him so you can gloat about how you, you kicked his ass? I don't understand this part. Whoa, what's going on with the graphics here? this. supposed to happen like that or what the hell yeah I don't understand why they uh, incorporated the uh, 3d model used in the pre-rendered backgrounds for the actual gameplay why didn't they just make uh, you know a full motion like a, f a completely full full motion video for that part there that didn't make sense to me why they actually incorporated the uh, 
three, you know, the regular non-CG 3D model into that cutscene there. Seems kind of weird. But there he is, and he's not in transform anywhere, and he looks pretty beat up too. Oh, they did a really good job making him look all beat up and dirty and nasty and. Yeah, too late, you know, and then you, uh... Uh oh. And they died? <laughs> I mean, of course they died, right? I mean, they just got crushed by a bunch of uh, EFA branches. And what? Why is the screen so dark? I can't see a damn thing. What are we supposed to be looking at here? Yes, every life has meaning. Blah, 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 blah. Ugh, yeah. Sometime later. Oh, okay. So I guess Sedan didn't make it out. <laughs> so we get nice little subtitles here. Bibi's son? Holy crap! Wow, he's been busy and how- look, look at all the Vivis! Holy mackerel, and they all look the same too. Wow. I thought Vivi was too young to have sex. I mean, he is supposed to be a kid, right? I mean, how does he... How does he reproduce? So yeah, we get a little scene here between Sir Fratley and Freya. And, oh, look, he professes his love to Freya. 
yet he still doesn't remember our past and they never explain why. Why did he lose his memory? They never explain why. It's like they just, they didn't do anything with, with her, uh, you know, with her little, her little story there with Sir Fradley. She didn't do, they didn't do anything. Yeah, I, I didn't like the way they uh, did the story for Frail. It seems like they could have done more and they just didn't bother. And yes, the Save the Queen has served Beatrix well. Yeah, it's it served me well too because uh, I actually used Beatrix for quite a few battles towards the end there. So yeah, I hope uh, you enjoyed seeing Beatrix in action for the uh, latter part of the game. I could have used her for the entire game, actually. But I decided not to, just... I don't know. Probably because I thought it would have been too cheap, because her abilities are... really good for the earlier parts of the game. Like the Asuna spell and Holy and all that other stuff, so I figured, nah, that'd be a little too cheap. Yummy, 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 food. how they play the um, whatever theme this is right here that Garnet sings supposedly or Sarah I should say it's not faster than the invincible I like the Hildegard 3 uh, theme better than I like the um, Disc 4 theme. Uh oh. Looks like you got a daughter there, Uncle Sid. Yeah, Sid adopts Ico, I guess. So that's kind of cool. This is where Rusty professes his love to Beatrix, even though they kind of did before, sort of. Oh, maybe they didn't. I'm so happy I met everyone. Yeah, that's very true. All good things must come to an end, like this Let's Play.
part of the sky. Uh, okay. Look at that, Garnett has grown her hair back and she looks like a princess now, or maybe a queen, I should say. Yeah, I imagine she probably goes back to her uh, royal name of Garnett, even though we found out her real name. So yeah, I'll just call her Garnett from now on, I suppose. But it's kind of cool to rename her Sarah, because that's technically her name, her real name. What's, what's with all this applause? Oh look, it's Tantalus. I guess they're, uh, they're performing again. Sounds like they changed the script to, to uh, I Want to Be Your Canary, because they changed it from, uh, they changed it to uh, the two characters running away together, kind of like Zidane and Garnett, so that's kind of cool. I'm not controlling the uh, speed of the dialogue here. It's completely automated, so if it's going too fast, pause the video. But I'm just kind of sitting back and relaxing now, watching this, and uh, trying to think of good things to say. I don't, I don't really, don't really have anything to say right now, other than I don't. I'm not really too familiar with this ending because I've only seen it once before. Because uh, every time I've beaten it, like the, when I originally beat it on my PlayStation, I would get to a certain point and then my game would freeze. And then on the emulator, it was doing the same thing. So I've actually only seen this ending once. This is my fourth time playing this game. Actually, fifth if you count uh, when my computer died and I had to replay the first two and a half discs over again, but, oh well. Hmm, interesting music to play in here. Yeah, obviously the name Cornelia is a reference to the first town in Final Fantasy, the original game. In case you haven't played that one, which, um, uh, well, give it a try. It's good stuff.
So maybe this part of the ending here isn't there unless uh, Senna has, unless you have Senna's hammer in your inventory, I think. Could be wrong about that though. Hello. That cloaked guy was a Don. How about that, huh? Here, here we thought it was Marcus. No, what the hell is going on with the sound? Oh, are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? This can't be happening. Fuck you, EPSXE, and this stupid fucking bullshit. Hold on a minute. Hmm. Well, uh, my question is, how did he survive? I mean, wasn't he crushed by a whole bunch of Efa branches or something? Why did he take so long to come back? Now this is a good spot where they should be shouting make way for the queen or something instead of having her bump into everybody here is that her um, falcon claw or something or no that's that jewel that Ico gave her I forgot yeah she's like screw it I don't need it anymore I'm not a princess Look at that. <laughs> I think it's hilarious how there's like five or six BBs now. How about that, huh? A happy ending. Yeah, how did you survive Zidane? Uh, okay. I don't know if my sound is glitching out right now. Well, maybe it is. I don't know. What's that in the background? Is that glitch? Is that a glitch or something? Well, it doesn't. It doesn't hardly matter. Whatever. But there you go, that's the end, and these are the ending credits. This is an amazing game, I love it.
one of my favorites in the series. The graphics are great, the story's fun, the characters are pretty good. Some of my favorite characters in the series. The music is phenomenal. Definitely one of Uematsu's best. Unfortunately, it's some of his last, because uh, Final Fantasy X, he, uh, he composes a lot of the music, but he gets help from other people. And then after Final Fantasy X, no Nobuo Uematsu just kind of leaves Square, or Square Enix. So basically, as soon as Square merged with Enix, that's when all the old team that basically is responsible for making me these games just kind of left and went and did their own things, and that sucks. That really does. I mean, with the exception of Final Fantasy XII, I really don't like any of the games that they put out. Uh, except for Dragon Quest VIII and Fi okay, Dragon Quest VIII and Final Fantasy XII are basically the only two games that Square Enix has put out since the merger that I actually like. Man, I mean, I suppose there's Kingdom Hearts games, but I haven't really played those. And, and uh, I don't know those sequel games like Final Fantasy X-2 and XIII-2 and eh, crap. I don't want to play that garbage. But, um, yeah, I love this game. This game is amazing. It took me a long time to get through this Let's Play, mainly because I had to play through the game virtually twice. And, um, yeah, sorry it took so long for me to get back to it. It took me, like, six months, but, um, I don't want to get myself burned out on the game, you know. I, I don't want to have a... I don't like playing a game right after I've played all the way through it. I, I don't like doing shit twice in a row. Which I obviously had to do. At least the second time around with this game, I didn't have to record it twice. I mean, I just had to play through it, which is, uh, which is fine, I guess. But yeah, it took me a while to do that. Uh, but anyways, for the uh, upcoming Let's Plays, I plan on uh, getting going with Tales of Fantasia. And also, if you hadn't been reading comments on my previous videos, I have mentioned that uh, I'm going to start a new Let's Play of a newer game that just came out like a month ago. Called, or actually maybe it was like a month and a half ago, called Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch. So, uh, yeah, I actually have the first 25 or 26 videos recorded of that game. I've been steadily working on that one. And, uh, yeah, I wanted to play through the game, like, at least halfway to kind of know how the battle system works and how to play it a little bit before posting videos. Uh, but <clears throat> I did leave, like, kind of the second half of the game uh, open to be blind, you know, because some people like uh, blind Let's Plays, and uh, that would be the part of the game that I'd be playing that would be blind. I mean, I'd start out the game knowing what to do, and then as soon as I get to the later bosses, I probably don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do, so I didn't want to look, I, I didn't want to, like, play the game and be completely in the dark as to what I was supposed to do to play it, you know, how to play it, basically. Because the battle system is kind of different, so, uh, but it's fun. It's a really good game. It's like Dragon Quest VIII and uh, kind of like a Tales. I mean, it's got, it takes uh, it takes elements from many, many RPGs and kind of meshes it into one game, and it's really fun. Uh, it's probably the best RPG I've sampled in the past, uh, in the past five years. Oh, maybe it's been longer than five years. Maybe it's been like... Maybe it's been like eight years, actually. Because uh, Dragon Quest VIII was the best RPG I'd sampled uh, since that came out. And I played that. Yeah, this game is great. 
it um it's basically an homage to all the old games in the series it takes elements from pretty much each game has references to all the games in the series pretty much and uh, even Bobby Corwin yeah one of the one of the comments previous uh, people few people mentioned that Bobby Corwin first two letters of Bobby and the first two letters of Corwin are Boko so yeah it's like Boko from Final Fantasy 5 I didn't catch that reference so uh, those of you that uh, did leave that that uh, that reference in the comments section thanks I didn't know that I'm like what the heck is Bobby Corwin where did they get that from they pulled that out of their ass so yeah I didn't I didn't know this game was in Dolby surround well I guess it was actually it was the sound for this game is great I don't think I have Dolby on my computer though or I don't have Dolby surround capability And this game was directed by Hiroyuki Ito, which is uh, who's the man responsible for the uh, uh, the old battle mechanics in the, in the earlier games. And uh, yeah, this game is great, man. Love it. Of course, this game was conceived and produced by Hironobu Sakaguchi, who is the father of Final Fantasy. And the series went down the shitter when he left the company. Well, there you are, that's the end. I hope you've enjoyed this Let's Play. I've enjoyed making it. it. took me a long time to get all the way through it. But it is done. So, there you go. The only other Final Fantasy game I have to Let's Play now is, well, I could finish up Final Fantasy 2 for starters. Once I finish up that piece of shit, there's only one game in the main series that I haven't done yet. And I don't like it, so it's going to be a rage fest. I'm going to rip into that game like you wouldn't believe. Although I'm not going to Let's Play it for any, you know, I'm not going to Let's Play it in the foreseeable future. Or eventually down the road, but... Not right now. I'm, I'll, I'll get to that one when I get to that one. So, all right, this video has probably gone on long enough. So, thank you for watching. You guys are awesome. This is Veteran Owen Two One signing off, and goodbye. See you in my other LPs.